Okay, so I wanna move on to building a story for your trade. So whenever I construct a trade, I want a number of elements lining up before I take that trade. So I'm gonna take a trade which um, we issued on Advisor on the 1st of, uh, 1st of July. It was linked to the FTSE. Um, and one thing I wanna note as well is that whenever I take a trade, there is an element of market function involved with that trade. So what do I mean by market function? Well, if you've been following our tips for a number of weeks now, we've been teaching you things like uh, the first of the month when there's pension money coming to the market. That's one example of market function. So it's something going on behind the scenes in the market that makes the market move in one direction or the other. Now, certainly there was a market function trade uh, for the trade on the 1st of July. So let's go over to the charts and let's examine how we built this story. Okay, this is a one hour chart on the FTSE. So this is the 1st of July here. And um, the market opened on this candlestick here. So it's a one hour chart. Each candlestick represents one hour of action. This is the open here. Now on this particular day, we were telling uh, people that the bottom of the range is 6.060 and we actually wanted to buy if we got down there. You'll see that the market got down to 6.082. It didn't go down here. Sometimes the market will front run a level. What does front run mean? It means that people are getting involved in the market just before key level because they anticipate that there's going to be a lot of volume or a lot of buying or selling activity near that level. And that's what we've seen here. We've seen the market come down towards 6060, then get quite a big buying response. So that's the first pit bit of the story. We've, we've come down to the bottom of the range. And at the moment, the trend is up. So we want to be buying pullbacks in the market. Element one. Element two is we have a nice pin bar reversal here on the one hour chart. Okay, so that's a nice little reversal signal. One thing we we needed to note on the day was that the CAM breakout short here, which is a pivot point, was at 61.20. So generally, if the market's above the CAM breakout long, it will rally. If it's below the CAM breakout short, CAM breakout short is, short, is uh, an abbreviation of Camarilla level. Okay, again, it's a, it's a pivot point. But if it's below the Camarilla level, then it often sells off. Now, below 61.20, we need to be a little bit careful because, as I said, whilst below it, it can just keep moving down a straight line. So we wanted to see price action um, move back above 61.20. So we've got this pin bar reversal here. We've got the action back above 61.20. We've got the bottom of the trend here. The trend is up as well at the moment. The market function element was, I don't usually take trades because actually when this trade triggered, it was about an hour and a half before America opened. I don't generally take a trade before America opens because America has an influence on the FTSE. However, on the first of the month, we know that pension money comes into the into the markets and we know it's the first trading day of a new quarter. And America is uh, generally has a tendency put, to put in a lot of money in the first day of a new quarter. So there was a reason that I expected there to be buying once America opened. And that really completed the story that allowed me to put an official trade out to buy the FTSE at 61.30. We had the stop below 6.050, below the bottom of the range, and we targeted basically back up to uh, the medium point up at, at uh, 6,200, um, which was hit about three hours later. So that was, um, that was the one, our, one example of our official trades that we took um, last week and again whenever we take a 
whenever we take a trade, we like to develop a story. The more reasons you have um, for taking a trade, the more high probability um, it will be and the, the, the chances of, succeed, uh, of success will increase. Mm -hmm.